Terrier Owner fans, what is happening? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. Josh here with TerrierOwner.com. And it's Tuesday, so of course it is time for another video. And today I'm going to give you my nine essential tips for providing the best care possible for your Jack Russell Terrier. And of course, real quick before diving into it, guys, if you guys like content about Terrier dog breeds, if you need that kind of help or enjoy watching the channel, be sure to subscribe down below. Don't ever forget to visit TerrierOwner.com. URL is displaying across the bottom of the screen here. And give us a thumbs up on the video because when you do that, it helps us out immensely with the YouTube algorithm get shown to other Terrier fans. And now, let's go ahead and dive into those nine essential tips that you need to know for your Jack Russell Terrier. We're starting right now. All right, guys, the first tip I have for you is a big one. It is a very important one. It is socialization. Needs to be at the top of your priority list with the Jack Russell Terrier or any terrier for that matter, but socialization for these guys needs to begin basically right when you arrive home. You want them interacting with the family. If you have other pets, you want them to get around them from a young age, or if there's kids in the household, get them around the kids as soon as possible as well. The faster you can get your Jack Russell used to the environment, used to these social situations where they are in a controlled setting where you can monitor their behavior with kids, other pets, you and your family, the better they're going to be in the future with those social situations. So put simply, get them around everybody, supervise the situation in the beginning, and start correcting behaviors. But the sooner you start the process, the better they're ultimately going to be in the future in any kind of social situations. And if you wanna take it up a notch, guys, feel free to do things like take them to a dog park or take them on walks on areas where it's a little bit busy. This is where you're gonna notice how they're gonna behave with certain scenarios. My God, they might bark a lot or get scared by people on bicycles, but you don't know until you try it. So get out there, get active, get them socialized. All right, guys, care tip number two is make sure you're planning to provide an adequate, proper and healthy diet for your Jack Russell. These dogs can live a very long time. They can live very medical problem free, but they're also a muscular dog breed that burns a ton of energy every single day. So providing something that's a little higher quality is recommended. As far as what to give your dog, I'm not going to dive into that in this video because A, it could turn into a debate in the comments down below, and B, ultimately that is your decision. I personally use Blue Buffalo a dry food mix for Luna here, but I do know that other people believe in wet foods. I know that people believe in raw diet, raw meat diets, and a bunch of other situations you can do for your dog. That's not the point. The point is just to make sure it's high quality or speak to a vet about what they recommend for your dog and not get them the lowest priced food possible. Food shockingly can make an impact on their energy levels, their behavior, their growth, their health later in life so it is a huge thing to take seriously and start that right away from puppyhood until they mature all right guys tip number three is make sure you have a ton of toys i have a video on this channel if you want to go check it out on the channel page for terrier owner about toys and why they need them but make sure you have something for these guys to do especially when they're young or when they're teething have a nice basket full of toys ready to go they want to chew they want to move around and having a bunch of safe usable toys can make it much easier a to correct behavior when they're chewing something wrong by replacing it with what they should be chewing and b it makes it easier for your own property not to be destructed if they have something they should be chewing they're less likely to be chewing things that they shouldn't be which leads me into number four which may arguably be one of the most important and one of the most frequently said things on this YouTube channel, which is exercise often or find a way to let them be moving around. This is one of the most exercise demanding dog breeds you can choose to adopt. I mean, look at how muscular she is. She's ripped, but they need exercise guys. If you got a good backyard that they can run around in, perfect. That's good enough. If you don't, frequent walks would be good, as many as you can do. I'm not trying to stress you out by any means, but it does need to happen in some fashion. So make sure that you are finding a way to provide that, even, even if 
it's not you necessarily doing the work, such as the backyard running around. Apologies. Okay guys, so sum that one up, just make sure they get some exercise. And then number five is going to become easier for you if you follow the exercise tip that I just gave, which is these guys need discipline in some fashion. The video coming out over the weekend coming up is more about potty training techniques and a different twist that you can put on it to be effective. But in general, these dogs find a way to push their boundaries if they don't know A, who is in charge and B, what they should be doing. So discipline is a big factor. You need to make sure that you're correcting behaviors. You need to make sure that you're finding a way to train them on what is right and what is wrong. And you need to find a way for them to understand that you're in charge. It makes a big difference. If they think that they can run the house, they're going to run the house. Trust me. Been through it. Been there. It sucks. Make sure they know that you're in charge. Which discipline leads me right into number six, which is training. How far you decide to take the training is one thing. You don't have to teach them to be, you know, master show dogs by any means. Could they probably be capable of some pretty crazy stuff if you put in the time with it? Yeah, of course. They're extremely smart. I'm talking more about potty training, correcting biting and nipping, barking, how to walk on a lead. They don't just know these things. While they certainly pick it up really quickly, if you put in the time, they don't just do it right out of the box when you adopt them. So make sure to pick up some kind of positive reinforcement routine with them, whether that's clicker training, just giving them a treat and saying good girl or good boy. Something in the form of positive reinforcement and training is necessary. So make sure you guys do it. And with training guys, you have a little subset of training that I highly recommend and would consider it one of my top nine tips for providing care for these guys, which is crate training. I understand that it sucks to put a puppy into a crate when they're cute and they're adorable and they just bark and whine and howl. But if you don't, you're going to be in trouble later. Unless you're just a secret dog whisperer, the crate is completely beneficial in so many ways. I probably couldn't even list them all in this video, but I'll try. But if you're gonna leave them home alone, crate them, especially in the beginning. When they're older and more mature, sure, you can make that judgment call. When you're potty training them, crate them when they're young. When you go to bed at night, crate them. This teaches them A, not only that they can't run the house and do whatever they want when you're not watching, but B, they need to learn the routine. They need to know when it's time to go outside. They need to know when it's time to eat. They need to know that when you're not home, that they're used to being in a crate and sitting and doing almost nothing. And that's okay. That's what they should be doing when you're not around. So on that list of my top nine, make sure you purchase a suitable crate which I will put in the description below for you, but it is important and I highly recommend that you do it. Care tip number eight, guys, is understand the energy levels and accommodate. That does not necessarily mean the same tip we already discussed with exercise. It means that if you can't handle, if you can't handle some of the energy that these guys are gonna put off, you probably shouldn't get one. There is such a thing as a calm Jack Russell. I'm not saying they don't exist, but I'm going with a broad statement. Most Jack Russells are extremely high energy. So you need to either be aware of that and work with them to burn it off and learn how to be calm, or you need to just be perfectly fine with them being high energy. But if you're not, it's not really a suitable environment for them because that's what they're bred to be like. So prepare in that fashion, which leads me directly into my last care tip of this video which is make sure you give this dog affection. They are clingy, they want to be around you, they will follow you everywhere. There's videos on this channel about it. Make sure you go check those out on the channel page. I will also link them in the description below, but they want the affection, they wanna be around you. They will stare at you all day long if you don't give them attention. Maybe, but make sure that that is the plan that you're willing to give them that because they will try and get it from you and when they don't get what they want even when they're trained they get a little a little fussy so give them that affection give them that love and you'll be in good shape all right guys so what tips did i leave out what other tips do you recommend for new jack russell owners and what do you do with your own jack russell that you believe is essential for making sure that they have a healthy and happy upbringing and lifestyle. 
Drop some comments like that down below. And of course, guys, as always, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you to all of you who have already subscribed and make sure you're hitting that notification button so that you are notified on Tuesdays and Sundays when these new videos are released. And please guys, just like the YouTube algorithm likes it when you give us a thumbs up, when you guys head over to terrierowner.com and you type that into your web address bar and go check out the blog and go check out all of those other useful resources, that also helps us out immensely. So be sure to visit the website. It'll display across the bottom of the screen here. Don't forget that our new publishing schedule is every Tuesday and Sunday now. So save some time back to watch those. We hope you guys are having a great holiday season and we will catch you guys in the next video. Take care and we'll see you later. Bye guys. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.